Namaste. My name is Nikhil and welcome to Asana Mythology. Today we will tell you the story of Bakasana, the crane pose. The Mahabharata, the greatest Indian epic, tell the story of two families, the courageous, generous Pandavas and the wicked, fearful, fierce Kauravas. The Pandavas, they had lost their right to rule the land in a game of dice, and they were exiled into the forest for 12 years. One day they were wandering to the forest and they were very thirsty. So they climbed a tree and they spot the water source, a lake. So one by one they went to fetch the water. By arriving at the lake, a voice spoke out of nowhere. If you fetch the water and you drink the water, you will die. But still, the Pandava was so thirsty that he drank the water. So he died, one by one. When the fifth brother came to check on his brothers what happened, King Yudhisthira, at the sight of his four brothers dead, he was stricken with grief. And then in that moment, the voice spoke again. Only that this time, Yudhisthira could see who was speaking. A giant crane, Bakasana. He said, if you touch the water, you will die. But if you can answer me a few questions, and I'm happy with your answers, I may uh, revive your brothers, and you can drink the water. Yudhisthira had no choice, but he was a wise man. So he said, shoot the questions. Show the crane, said the first question. What is the news in the world? Yudhisthira did not answer about politics or economics. He said, all living beings have forgotten their divine nature. And they are living in avidya, ignorance, what make them, them suffer. The crane, like that. Second question, said the crane. Who is really happy in the world? You distill answer, the self-realized man who had cleared all his debts by resolving all his karmas is truly happy. The crane liked it. Third question, said the crane, what is the greatest wonder Again, here, Yudhisthira did not ask, uh, answer the China Wall or the Taj Mahal. He said, although we see all living beings, people, creatures, that they are constantly dying, we believe it will not happen to us. <laughs> Somehow, we think that we can escape death. The crane like that. Fourth question, said the crane. What is the true path? Yudhisthira answered, the true path lies in following the saints and the yogis who have self-realized themselves. The true path lies in the caves of their hearts. The crane was happy, he smiled, and revealed himself as Yama, the god of death. After that, he blow life back into the four bodies of the Pandavas, and they revive, and they could drink the water. These four questions, they are the summary of the yogic path. Namaste.